So, the first book is Pocket Full of Nonsense. I used to read this book so much when I was little. It was my favorite book. It's by... Sorry, it's about that. <laughs> it's by James Marshall. And basically what it is, it's just a bunch of little nursery rhymes. Here. Let me, let me flip through. Hold on. Okay. Let me flip through one. Let's read. I remember all of these. All of them. For example, a peanut sat on the railroad track. It's, his heart was all a flutter. 515 came rushing by. Toot toot. Peanut butter. It's just like stupid stuff. It's nonsense. It's amazing. I'll read it all the time when I was little. Okay. There you go. Gently set it down. Would you like to go next? So I know. Okay. So, this book changed my life. It, it really did. I don't know why, but this bozo started reading the fourth book first. <laughs> but... It's the Spiderwick Chronicles, the Ironwood Tree, and it's by Tony, I can't pronounce the last name, and Holly Black. That's the front. That's Mallory. And then, <laughs> it's about, like, adventurous, <laughs> I guess. Is it your favorite of all time? I mean... Yeah, basically. <laughs> Alright, my next book. Oh, I should have gotten the first one. I cannot find my first Harry Potter book. I know where it is. Where is it? It's by my bed. Oh, well. <laughs> the first Harry Potter book is one of my favorites. Stop. <laughs> Stop. And then the Half-Blood Prince. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it so much. I put my name on the side. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. I put Property of Jacob. I love this one. It's one of my favorites. And then The Order of the Phoenix is probably third of my favorite out of the Harry Potter series. Would you like to go next? Okay. Do not judge me, but <laughs> this book, I started reading them, and they're pretty good. It's just babysitters, and their problems, and the What's outcome. What's it called? It's the first book of the Babysitter's Club, and it's called Grace Christie's Great Idea, and it's basically where they establish the Babysitter's Club, and how it goes out. Cool. I read a couple of, like, two chapters with you. It's pretty good. All right, going back in time, I have, this isn't like my favorite, I don't think I have any of my favorite um, My Weird School books, but My Weird School books were my favorite when I was growing up, like in the first and second grade. Yes. My Weird School. It's pretty good. And then, again, this isn't my favorite Amelia Bedelia book, but Amelia Bedelia in my weird school in that pocket full of nonsense book made me the person I am today. <laughs> Selena? Okay. This is the second book of the Babysitter's Club, and it's about one of the members, Stacy, who, and it's about her, like, diabetes story and, like, her perspective of the babysitter's club and like all of her babysitting journeys <laughs> i don't know but yeah all right my next book is house arrest i know it seems a little bit large but basically the plot of the story is that there's this boy his name is oh, dang it it's been a while since i've read a book i'm sorry i don't know i don't remember his name I don't remember his name. I'm so sorry. But his but basically he's on house arrest because he stole money for his family. And so it's just little passages like of his diary that his therapist says that he has to have. 
his parole officer actually. So I really like it. So it's a journey. I really like it. Is that on your book? Yeah, you told me to bring three. <laughs> Sorry. The next book is Lauren Hulse Anderson's Speak. It's about a girl's story. Um, her first days of high school and how she was raped at a party and how she gets through it and it's a very good book it's very emotional and the last book that i have here i'm currently reading i watched the movie around four times i think it's the help i think we all know what this book is about um but if you don't it's a book about the 1960s yes the 1960s and the african-american maids and it's their perspective on life yes Selena, do you have i forgot anything to say i forgot to say but the babysitter's club is based on a novel by ann m martin and the author of these ones is rena taub <laughs> taub Talgmanner. Talgmanner. <laughs> Alright, you guys. That's it. I have some, also, a couple extra books in here that I forgot about. I put a record player. <laughs> but basically, they're Stephen King's It. Amazing. And Where the Sidewalk Ends by Shel Silverstein. I keep them in here because they're my prized possessions. <laughs> yeah. Close the sacred chest. Oh, and if you guys, I, I forgot to mention my painting here. It's probably going to be in the kids' bob corner more often now. In, in place of the light that was over there. So, you guys... whatever so guys thank you guys so much for watching if you made it this far please like and subscribe if you want to no pressure channel. selena has a channel selena has a channel selena's cabinet i'll link it down <laughs> in the description and i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the kids back corner also Sorry. also if you want to get notified when she makes a video then turn on the post notifications and hit all so you can get all of the notifications so that is it for today i'm sorry i didn't post monday because yesterday i was at a family function and i didn't get home until late so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next week bye